Welcome back to the Electrician's 2 channel. Today we're going to do a comp uh, another uh, comparison video, but this time we're going to compare the, um, the Gosson Metro, MetroWatt MetroLine DM62 against the FLIR uh, DM92, both are tr uh, true RMS uh, multimeters. Uh, as far as the, uh, the function, the uh, features, they are both basically the same. Uh, one is made in the United States. One is made originally made in uh, India, but this is a rebrand, and so it is being uh, it's sold by uh, Gossip and Metrowatt. The original company who made this multimeter call, is called Rishab, and it's spelled R I S H A B H, and is low. It's and is um, headquartered in India. Uh, the, those that company is the original maker of this multimeter right here. And it will be Rishib. Uh, I think that the I know it's, I know it's a series six fifteen or something like that six fourteen or six fifteen series. Uh, DMC wait DM six fifteen or DM six fourteen, but anyway that's the same exact multimeter right here. Now uh, this is a this is a real both are real nice multimeters both of them are very nice. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is just go through a few features and we'll just pick which one that, uh, at least I'll pick which one that I think that uh, I would use. Uh, pound for pound, both of them are straight down the middle. Uh, so uh, let's just get on with that and we'll see. Now, this one as far as um, the flare, the flare DM92, you get low, low Z, um, you get a, uh, AC DC, you get the all feature, automatic all feature. You get uh, volts AC DC, millivolts AC DC. You get resistance, you get continuity, and you get diode. You get capacitance, you get, you get temperature, and you get amps AC DC. And you get a whole uh, array of uh, functions up here like hertz, you get min max, and so on and so forth that's up here. But the only thing about that is not in words, it's in symbols. So, you this meter would be for the kind of advanced if you use these features up here you have to know what these features are we won't get into that today but i'm just want to show you if you need to get into let, let's just say uh, uh min max app in average and you haven't read the directions on here you don't have to read the direction because you already see that it said min max right here you just pr press the button well flair when it made it complicated not for me or not for you, but probably for some people. If they look up here, they won't know what to hit. So they would have to go read the direction again and have the directions near at all times until they get it down in their mind what these symbols mean. So that's kind of like a flaw. I wouldn't have done that. I, w I wouldn't have did that. So because what, the, what you did now is put this multimeter kind of in a box. Some people will be afraid to even grab this multimeter because they they will think it's too advanced for them uh, and, it's, and it's, it's really not for those of us who already know what these mean symbols mean and uh, you know what I'm saying but this one is more or less like user friendly because if I want the whole button well it has a whole button right if, if I want the uh, auto and manual button here I would have to go right here where there's a little setting over here and try to find the uh, uh, auto or manual but on here I just press the button and you know it'll toggle between auto and, and manual so i give this meter here a plus for that and i take away some points away from a flair for that even though it looks nice it looks nice and but you know it'll run some people off if they saw that um and it's a, re it's a real nice multimeter both are but anyway um it's both of them are featured pack this one here has um have, let me start from the bottom. It has temperature, it have a diode, it has a continuity, it have milliamps, amps, vote, uh, volts AC, volts DC, it have off, hertz, it have uh, temperature, Celsius, uh, have resistance, uh, capacitance, another off feature. They have two off features, um, uh, milliamps right here, uh, DC, uh, and amps. Uh, what is that? DC. Now, and they have a backlight, and they have a dual display. 
Now, as far as I know, I think this has a dual display also. It show, it'll show you the hertz at the top if you were measuring voltage. This one also has a safety feature, whereas if you try to plug it into the wrong, uh, if you have it plugged in here and trying to use a, uh, a incorrect setting, it'll let you it'll let you know by not allowing you to plug that in. It'll only work in um, the correct setting. So this is a this is a safety feature right here that I, that that's really popular now with a lot of multimeters, and I think it's a good idea. Whoever thought of that, it's this is a very good idea. Uh, I don't think Flair have that here on this one, but Flair has. It has a um, and this has a nice backlight to it. Uh, let me just turn that on for a minute. It has, it has a nice backlight to it. It also has. It doesn't come with the. With the test leads uh, ports back here, where you can kind of you know roll your test leads up and put them inside of the little ports that normally be on most multimeters right here. You can't do that. As far as a, 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 a strap, they don't even. I mean a hanger, they don't even have that. This this is this is so crazy. I would have never done this. Now um, you have to find a nail probably, or or tie some kind of whatever. I could tie a rope around here, and. Um, well, you still got to find a nail. I would have made it where it's, you could use a, excuse me, guys. I would have made it where it is. You can use a Velcro strap with a magnet on it to, to hang your meter. This is, um, no, that's, you know, no. But anyway, the rubber case itself, this is a real nice rubber case. It takes two AAA batteries. Um, this is a real nice, real nice rubber case, nice and thick, you know. And uh, the meter is real pretty. I, I think it's a nice green. Uh, you can look for it to get dirty for sure. If you're using it in the field, uh, you, you can't get around it. This and uh, it feels like the kind of rubber where it is where if you was to get dirt on it, uh, you can't you can't really clean it like you would want to. But I'm, I'm sure you can because they have they have stuff out there that you can clean with Dawn. Take it off. Use Dawn uh, dish detergent. That'll probably work. Um, and the test leads are really nice. Very nice test leads. Uh, on a scale from one to 10, I would give these test leads out of these two. Right now, I would give it like a 10. Maybe, a, nah, I'll tell you what. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's like a 10. I'll give it a 10. Test leads are really nice. Um, let me see what else. Uh, they have, uh, like I would tell you about the dual display uh, on the screen. And true RMS, they have, uh, they don't, I don't see anything about Lil Z on here. But, uh, you know, okay. But real nice multimeter. Now, the the FLIR, you, you, see, you see all the features that it has. Um, this is a very advanced multimeter for maybe for an advanced uh, user. Because even though up here, it, it'll take some time to get used to. Even when you have to toggle, toggle through the selections up here. You know, it won't be hard for us, but somebody who's just getting into uh, to use a multimeter, I think they'll pass this up when they see it. It's just it looks just too busy, you know, and it 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 confuse the um, the buyer. I think they'll run to this before they'll run to that because it looks so user friendly. But anyway, I'm looking at it has a mode button, toggle through the mode. You have a, a, the OK button, like to whatever selection you pick, you, you highlight up here, you hit the OK, and, and, and that's the one it selects. It also have a, this one also has a flashlight on the back, and it's a bright, it's a bright LED, you know, so that's always helpful. I, I seldom use these kind of flashlights, but it, you know, it, it will come in handy if you need it, if you out there working and you don't have a, a flashlight at all, you're inside of a panel, that would come in handy. So. You know, that's that give that a plus too. It has a real bright backlight. I think I think the backlight's really bright. Real big digits. Um let me see what else. They have um like I said, low Z. And that's about oh, and it's double molded. This is a now this 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 is a real thick case. But the the case is in, integrated onto the meter. It doesn't come off. But the back of it here, uh, that's the date when I bought it on the 14th of January, 2016. 
you had you could you could put a velcro strap through here and you can hang it i like the idea that they have the ports up here it takes six the uh six triple a batteries here to run this meter uh and the test leads it's not the it's not the best but it's surely not the worst they feel real good they they really feel good um they're gold plated i think they're gold, yeah they're gold plated and but it's a real real very nice test leads um but out of the compared to these um i would pick i would pick the, the gossen metro watt test leads over the flare uh as far as um as far as features wise um which one did i think i would i would go with hmm i don't know yet i'll tell you what i don't know i was leaning toward one just now y'all y'all have been surprised but let me let's let's let me do a little i'll put some main voltage in it right quick and we'll see let me, let me, let me get something right quick Okay, that's what we're gonna do. Move this out of the way. Let's see. Just how accurate or how close. They've come to each other as far as uh okay what i'm gonna do i'm gonna i was gonna plug it into my variac i guess why not since i since it's right here i was gonna plug it into the mains but i'll i'll plug it into the variac okay guys here we go into the variac. Should be on rotate AC. Nope, one is on DC. AC. Okay. So here we go, y'all. I'm gonna turn it up. I don't know what is on, but they should be close to one another. Okay, so that's 30 volts. Um, the flare is saying um, 30.8, 30 30.7. So 30.8, so that'll be, okay, basically the same. 60 hertz, 60 hertz, okay. Let's go up a little higher. I don't know what I'm turning, I'm just turning it, guys. And I'm trying to see 51.4, 51.5. That's close enough. 73.9, I see this dropped off a digit, 70, 70, uh, 74.5, .0, well, no, that's close enough, that's, that's okay, it just dropped off a digit, that's all, but that's close enough, all right, here we go, 90.7, 91.3, now we're starting to see a difference, as, as, as I turn the voltage up some. Okay. 115, 116. 141, 142. I guess that would be considered 142 because it's 1.7, uh, so you would say it's 142. Uh, 
That's the highest you can go right there. I tell you, the backlight on the uh, Flair is much, much brighter than the one on the Gosling, or Gosling much brighter. Uh, it's much, it seems the, the, the letters, the numbers are much bold, it's much bolder. It seems to be, both of them are clear, but this just seemed to be much clearer. Okay, that's the highest at the very, I'm gonna let me go, y'all. So this is 155, 156. Don't know which one is spot on, but I know both of them, either or, they're, they're in spec. Uh, so 60.02 60 uh, hertz, 60.01 hertz. So um, it's holding their own. Both of them are holding their own. But if I had to choose one, if I had to choose one, it would be... Um, I like both of them. I like the I like the leads on the on, on the Gosling. I like all of well. Let me see. I'm I'm trying to think, guys, because both of them are nice. I gotta go with the flare. I got to go with the flare. I was giving it some thought. I was really trying to see. If I, what would make me take this Gosson over that flare? Uh, at the moment, nothing. So I'm, I'm going with the flare. This is my choice. You guys tell me which, what's your choice. And um, you have any comments? Let me know. Hit the, hit the like button. Hit, hit the subscribe button. I'm gonna give a shout out to uh, Chris uh, Fifey. He and I was talking today, and um, we were just talking about sharing some things about. Uh, learning, teaching the younger generations about electrical and safety, and uh, it was a pretty good conversation. So, Chris, I want to give you a thumbs up, bud, and uh, thank you for your commentary. In fact, I want to thank all of my viewers for the commentary. I really appreciate it, man. That's why I ask you guys to leave commentary, comments, because other people read it, and uh, that's one way we can learn from one another uh, just by that. You know, you may be a story, something you've been through, uh, a test tool that you've used that you not you know that uh, you, you know you want to give a uh, a comment on it, all that helps. So you, you know that's my that's what this channel is all about. So uh, guys, if you have something to say, man, I mean I appreciate it if you just put it in the comments. Not only do I read it, but a lot of other people read it too. And I'm inviting the rest of you guys who 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 view my uh, channel to leave a comment. Hit, the, hit that subscribe button, um, hit the like button, and join in. I mean, join in. I really would appreciate it. Okay, guys, uh, you guys take care. And until next time, I still have videos coming. You guys take care and peace out. Hey.